Hey guys, today I thought I'd want to let you guys know what kind of parts I chose based on this mining rig cooling solution I figured out and give you guys some links on where to find this stuff. So most of the stuff I found was on Amazon, so we'll be looking through a lot of Amazon. And uh, this is the GPU rig I chose. They have a 6 GPU variant and an 8 GPU variant. This one is the one I chose because first of all it's a little more uh, it's smaller in size so it'll fit in like a corner of your room a lot easier than this one this one's a lot longer it's about a foot longer uh, this dimension right here is a foot and this is about three feet on the 8 GPU rig while this one is uh, a foot by two feet that's a pretty big difference in choosing a size of a tent because you're gonna want at least six inches on every side of your miner rig so that it can breathe properly so if you choose this 8 GPU rig, you're going to be looking at a 4 foot by 2 foot uh, base area so that you can adequately have enough space on either side, pass cables around, whatever you need to do. The, the tent I was able to choose is 3 feet by 2 feet, so it doesn't take up as much as space. I also like that it's pretty low profile, uh, other than like a lot of other tents have these green highlights on them, look a little tacky in my opinion. But this tent actually does a, a very good job, and it's uh, pretty affordable at $59, and it's pretty good quality uh, build construction. So uh, this one can fit two, uh, two miners stacked on top of each other. Well, this one you could probably fit, uh, I don't know, that's about, that's, that's, a, that's taller than six feet. Holy crap. That, that's eight feet. No? Is that eight feet? No, that's seven feet. That's seven seven feet tall, and so you could probably stack maybe maybe six. I'd say five at most. You don't want it too top heavy, uh, but yeah, you could fit about six of these in here. Uh, but I like this one. This one is a lot smaller, and uh, I like this tent. So this is the one I chose. Uh, so to cool my miners, everyone's asking where do I get the fan brackets? Where where do you buy those? Honestly. I just use zip ties. Uh, I contacted the Amazon seller. They want 20 bucks for these um, plastic fan things. You can just use zip ties and do the same exact thing on your rig. If you built one that looks like this on your own, just use zip ties. Uh, they, these are the fans I chose. Now, these fans I will highly recommend. These are Gentle Typhoons, hence the name. Uh, they push around 77 CFM and they're a four pin PWM fan so what I did was I bought this fan and I bought this fan hub this fan hub runs off of Molex and has 10 fan ports this one port is the master and the rest are the slave so anything you control from the motherboard is based on this orange fan and all the other ones are relying on this one I need there's a SATA version but these fans actually pull uh, quite a lot of power for a fan so I would highly recommend getting this fan hub powered off of Molex. The inline fan I chose was this 6 inch. They also have an 8 inch variant and uh, right here is the 8 inch variant and the 8 inch variant pushes pro twice as much uh, air however it's a lot longer and bigger so since size is an issue for me uh, I chose this uh, this inline fan. This one's a lot smaller and quieter than a lot of other inline fans that are offered on Amazon. For example, if you look at this inline fan, it's a little extreme, but this is the 6 inch diameter. And then this part, this whole section, is going to be about 20 inches. I don't have space for that. Compared to this, this is about 8 inches max. This is like twice the diameter. Uh, these other ones that are a lot cheaper, they uh, they do the job, but they're not very quiet or push a lot of air because these are made with tighter tolerances. You can see in between the fans and the inner casing that you can really uh, get a higher pressure than these other ones. So even though these might push air, you're not going to get that pressure that you need to push air through a tent. So keep that in mind when you buy these uh when you buy these inline fans so this is the 8 inch variant if I wasn't living in an apartment I'd definitely buy this one it's worth the extra money uh, the fan controller I got is this Ventec they also offer it in single form on Amazon uh, here uh, variable fan speed controller 
boom right here 20 bucks you can get one of these and it's a really great it's super easy to control the fan speed as well as uh if there's ever like i it, it's just really helps the noise to keep the noise down when you can actually turn it in so you can get that maximum amount of like airflow to noise ratio uh, one of the mistakes I did with my build is I chose this aluminum ducting. It's a it's really cheap because they can really cram it into a tight space and ship it everywhere. The only problem is is that this radiates a lot of heat. Like it's aluminum, so it conducts heat very well. And this part gets really hot and is actually putting heat back into the room. So I would highly recommend getting the insulated version. That's one thing I'm gonna change probably in the future. Uh, is buy some insulated flex duct and uh, they sell it at Home Depot. Do not buy this on Amazon. On Amazon, it's a lot more expensive. Uh, for the last part, I want to talk about smart plugs. A lot of these smart plugs are only 10 amps, and uh, this is something I didn't mention in the in the uh, the, the the other video. But uh, I like using these smart plugs so that I am able to control uh, the the rigs so if I use a smart plug I can turn it on and off and and effectively able to like wirelessly restart my rigs whenever I need to if there's like a hang up or I'm trying to change some settings and it blue screens or it's stuck in uh, this this happened to me once uh, I got stuck in Windows repair mode after I it automatically reboot I rebooted after a failure but anyways, I uh, highly recommend these plugs. Uh, I'll leave the links for all these items in the description below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.